Hello everybody at Edge Gamers. Welcome back to another Meet the Team. Today I'm here with uh, the senior manager of the tech team, Millie. How are you doing today, man? I can't complain yourself. Doing well, thank you for asking. So, are you ready to just jump into this? Yeah, let's do it. Alrighty. So, how long ago did you join Edge Gamers? Ah, uh, I, you know, to be honest, I don't really know. I came over as leadership as a uh, tech from PG, so whenever that merge happened, probably four or five months ago. That was May, wasn't it? Something like that? I believe it was somewhere around there, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> that merge was a fun one. Anyway, uh, what inspired you to take a role in the tech team department? Well, in PG, I was the, uh, pretty much the lead tech and I pretty much ran things over there for a while and okay. coming over to here being that our servers merged over I just assumed that I would be a big help and I'm also the one that transferred our servers and everything so I know how it all works huh. has uh has your role changed at all since the uh since the merge I've taken on more of a leadership role to be honest um okay previously it was mainly just me working um, there wasn't really anyone else with me, and now I have people under me that I manage, and hmm. you know, just you know, just more of a managerial role. Do you enjoy this new leadership kind of position? Um, honestly, I do. There's a lot of good people under me. <laughs> Made a lot of good friends. So. Alrighty. Next up, how much experience do you have in the tech team field, or just tech field in general? Well, I started programming when I was around 11, so about a decade of experience in all of that. Dang, man. Uh, when it comes to like server management with like Linux, uh, I got into that. I ran the number two Tekkit server uh, about five or six years ago, so about cool. five or six years in that. Do you enjoy uh, coding for other games, or do you just code for Edge Gamers, or how, what do you code for? I mainly code for CSGO, but I am employed as a game developer, and uh, so I, I work a lot with some independent stuff. Uh, mainly CSGO and Dota 2 as well, uh, and then I also spent about five years writing my own game engine, so I, I work with everything. Alrighty, so, uh, will you, well, I'm pretty sure you just kind of answered this, but will you pursue any full-time careers in the field of tech? Ah, already there, already getting paid salary. Yeah. <laughs> and do you plan on keeping this job? Well, I work completely from home and I get paid a decent amount, so I, I hope to keep it. <laughs> well, wasn't that the dream? Alrighty, so... What inspired you to take the leadership role in the tech team? Um, well, like I said, coming from PG, I pretty much ran everything from the tech side over there. Um, so for a while, I was I, I was kind of unofficially leadership. Um, coming over here, I had already had that experience, so it was really easy to uh, kind of like transfer over and get into the groove of things. Okay. All right. And uh, did this transfer in any way kind of change your opinion about anything? Not really. It, it's all pretty much the same stuff. All right. So this is something that's discussed a lot, actually. How often would you say are you guys releasing updates for the servers and the forums? Um, That's a good question because tech is kind of a... Uh, since we are more of a back-end thing, we aren't as public about everything we're doing. Uh, yeah. We're pretty <laughs> much constantly releasing small updates like bug fixes and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, we have a couple people working on suggestions for different servers. Uh, right now, our biggest project, I personally am redoing the entire TeamSpeak server. Wow. And we're also rewriting the entirety of Maul. So you, we have some pretty big projects <laughs> that are being undertaken right now. <laughs> That's crazy, man. How is it uh, How is it working with the other uh, tech members on this, or do you work alone? Um, I mean, we're kind of divided up into different sections. So, for example, Covert is doing Maul. I'm working on TeamSpeak. Um, I mainly stick to CS:GO and Source games, uh, as well as like some other server management. Um, Covert does all of the web stuff. Uh, Drewrith does a lot of Source stuff as well, and then Gabe is Gabe. If you could do something else besides TeamSpeak, what would you try to code for? What would be your preference? Something else besides what? Besides like you said that you're uh, working on the TeamSpeak mainly. What would you do yeah, if I'm, you Yeah, I'm just uh, redoing the permissions and everything. I'm still primarily CSGO. All right. Um, if I could do something else, though, 5M, honestly. Uh, but I can't mm. run that game <laughs> more than, like, 5 FPS. Oh, yeah. Playing on potato? Oh, yeah. Eight-year-old laptop. <laughs> All righty. Well, uh, with the final question here, is the tech team currently looking for any more members of Edge Gamers to join the tech team? Well, I mean, tech is always looking for people. 
Now, if you already have some experience and a willingness to learn, we'd love to get you on. Even if you don't have a ton of experience, we can still start you at, uh... We basically have a tier system of tier 1, 2, and 3, uh, which is kind of like the help desk people, the coders, and then the leadership. And we can kind of start you at the bottom there and, like, you know, get you to work your way up to development and stuff. Okay. But we're always looking for people. It's cool. So you guys have, like, your own little hierarchy in tech team? Yeah, it's, uh... Uh, prior to the merge, um, it, it was different, so we kind of had to restructure everything. But we, we have a pretty set hierarchy now. Hmm. Was there anything like this back in uh, in PG when you were leadership there? Um, or like I said, in PG, I pretty much worked solo towards the end of it, so it, it was really just me. <laughs> Alright, and do you, uh, do you enjoy having more tech members with you now? And uh, being it, over them? It definitely decreases the workload and decreases the stress. <laughs> Um, okay. Previously, if something went wrong, I was the only person that people would go to to fix it. And if something major went wrong, then it was on me that our servers would be down. So, uh, it's nice. <laughs> Alrighty, well, uh, thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thanks for interviewing me. Yeah, alright. So, uh, from all of us here from Meet the Team, we will see you guys later.